I prayed some time ago and the Lord I want more of you is that a bad prayer point more of you oh my god and after and I, I prayed like that for months with fasting you know? for months with fasting you know the first thing that happened I was expecting that okay maybe more of God angelic visitations deep revelations and all of that that God would just be showing up everywhere but the only thing that changed nothing changed but the only thing that changed was that the environment became hostile now you want to connect a prayer of more of you with a hostile environment doesn't sound reasonable now I was staying with a particular family my relatives in that city and they had a child that was one year or two years old a child that was still learning how to talk and then the child would now come into my room and say is this your house go to your house now why are you here now then you will know that somebody more intelligent was feeding the child with the word oh. All right, and I went to preach one time in Zaria. I came back to that city. And when I when I came back, the meeting I went for was a mighty meeting, wonderful meeting. And I went to the office. The devil was waiting for me there. Scared of all kinds of stuff on Monday morning. Then I came back again. I was so hot, and I was trying to pray, but I didn't have the capacity because the hot had disconnected me from from the line a man that is discouraged cannot hear God you must understand that if you are discouraged discouragement is like an insulation that brings about a temporary disconnection from God except that discouragement is taken away <laughs> you are cut off now when I was in that mood suddenly because the door to my room had no lock if you push it hard enough it will sleep open. And when he sleeps open, he has a noise. And I was trying to focus on the Lord. And then the, I heard, Is this your house? Go to your house now. Now, if you are not someone that takes time to evaluate, you will use a knife and kill that child. But you may not understand that it was your prayer that made God to allow turbulence in the environment. See there, talks about being able to connect your circumstances with your requests, with your dealings with God. A carnal man will not connect those circumstances to his dealings with God because it doesn't follow. How on earth can you contain or connect that situation of hostility and that was just one of the strands of the situation there were also many funny aspects of that situation because the person that was feeding the child with those words was also passing some side comments here and there just to make the place uncomfortable for me meanwhile god had revealed to me that what he wanted to, me to do in that season was in that locality and the accommodation i had in that locality was that place that means there was nothing i could do about changing that accommodation it was not in my hands all right do you understand that now i had to be there and now that i had to be there there was a circumstance that i could not change that was there you need to be a spiritual man to see the connection that is your spiritual activity that is giving rise to this situation here i was asking for more of god i was beginning to perforate the spiritual atmosphere that was covered by demonic forces and powers and the demonic influences were touched they were troubled then they came into my habitat and began to stare some stuff meanwhile god knew that the things that they were staring was going to bring me in the long run to that point where i have more of god so the c we are talking about there is to be able to connect circumstances and situations to your dealings with god because it is so possible for you to am i am i helping you <laughs> i know we have grown small that's why i'm bringing this issue 
as far as I'm concerned, the devil does not influence me. That's me. That's what I The devil can operate in the circumstances. But I know that in order for the devil to operate, the Lord allowed him. Okay? There are circumstances also that I know that this trespass, God is expecting me to deal with the devil. Alright? I'm not saying that everything wrong is God that allowed it. But I'm talking about a situation that you pray about, it doesn't change. You fast about it, it doesn't change. People agree with you, it doesn't change in that moment. There is something about government that is at work in that situation. There is something about the position of God about the situation that will not make it change just yet. You get it? Oh, you're not getting it. Something about the government of God that is attached to it. Then if you see a situation like that, you need to go back to God and find out the connection. When I began to grow in God, my grades in the university began to fall. I prayed on it, I fasted, didn't change, I anointed it, it didn't change. Well, I said, Lord, I accept, no problem, let's still go on. I must not understand everything. Years later, God told me that my, I knew, but he reminded me that my pride was connected to my academic excellence. And so, two of them cannot exist together. It's either he takes my pride away or he takes the call away. Because my call could not survive in a habitat of pride. You get it? So since it, the call was more in his interest, so the grace had to go so that the, the pride would not have any anchor to hold. You see, so the government of God was at work in that situation. It didn't seem like a good situation to me, but you see, it was the Lord that allowed it to happen so. And if you are not a sensitive person, you will not see the hand of the Lord in the contrary situation. You get it? So in order for you to make progress and to receive the ministry of the spirit of truth in its full scope, you must be able to see him, see him operating through circumstances that you may not choose, circumstances that you may not want. But you see, when you begin to move with God, irrespective of your circumstances, it means you have, by an act, of your will decided to connect with God and to partake in the fellowship of the sufferings that has to do with everyone that is an ambassador of Christ. That kind of resolve is what leads to higher ranking in the spirit. You together. That situation went on. The situation went on. It went on. And you see, there are some situations that come close enough that it comes as close as your nose. When you see a situation like that, that is so close to you, it's around you. First of all, I need you to understand that what God wants to achieve first and foremost, many other things He may want to achieve, but first and foremost, He wants to do something on your character. When the thing is close like that, you can't run away from it. You sit back, it two steps, the thing shifts three steps, and it's always under your nose. When you see it like that, you must understand that God wants to work on your character. That there's a dimension of his oppression that you will not enter into if some character issues are not dealt with and some fruits of the spirit do not begin to some dimensions of the fruit of the spirit doesn't begin to manifest you will not be ushered into that realm and so as far as god is concerned it is profitable for you to go through that situation because he's a custodian of the just scales of the spirit and the balances when he weighed the situation and with the outcome of the situation, he now judged that it was better for you to suffer in this present time in view of the glory that will be revealed in you. You see that calculation? But many times the mind of a normal, natural man does not synchronize with the way he operates. And so in order for you to prosper uh, in the ministry of a spirit that is saddled with the responsibility of bringing us into reality, you must be able to see his hand. When you see his hand, a situation that was intended to break you down will be the same situation that will lift you up. But the law of equivalent advantage. And that law states that any situation that has the capacity to bring you down has an equal capacity to lift you up. And they sold this young man, Joseph, into slavery. Then, 
from slavery became a prime minister and he could not be a prime minister in that land because there was no government in that land in fact that land had no sustenance no agricultural sustenance that he would have died there so they sold him into slavery so the, the potential of being a prime minister was now in the land that he was sold into you get it he now saw the equivalent advantage that was tied to the situations that he was sold into so much so that because he saw the spirit of truth he could discern the spirit of truth he could discern the purpose of the spirit of truth in that process when his brothers came being fully aware of what god did he said you guys meant it for evil but what god meant it for good so that he can preserve a posterity this process i went through was not about me it was about our nation will you stand and pay the price for your nation i'm talking about your clan your own generation the people that came from your own body will you stand and say okay all right the course ends here so he had understanding he was aware he was enlightened he could see what the spirit of truth was trying to furnish through the process and the injustice that he had to go through because he saw it he was able to reap the advantage from the affliction and the contradiction the law of what equivalent one of our brethren came to me and began to talk about uh, the tr troubles he's going through in his local assembly ah i said these things are normal these things are common this one is common okay so you keep your cool keep quiet keep going and enjoy the process And after you go through that season, you begin to see that your ranking has changed. And your intimacy with the Spirit of God has gone to another level. It's not all about fasting and prayer. You will go to a process. And the man that refuses to be persecuted will never grow. When you see persecution coming and you escape, just know that you have not seen him. Because as you are going through the process, there's always an alternative. The alternative to react in the natural. React based on signs and symptoms in the situation. I've seen several people, I know that family problem is not good, but I've seen several people that it was through family problem that they were pressed into God. The situation had an advantage, an equivalent advantage. And I need you to understand that there's a level and the ranking that you get to as a husband or a wife in that situation that the level of authority you carry will squash that spirit that is stirring that thing and you will win your family. It might take 25 years, it might take 35 years, we don't know. But you see, the Bible says, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. That means good will ultimately overcome evil. The stories might be different, the testimonies might be different, the settings might be different, but good will always overcome evil. But we need a man that will take sides with God even if he doesn't understand what God is doing. So the Holy Spirit needs to be designed. So that you don't get to fight. He said, I've seen the truth. I've designed the will of God. I've designed the purpose of the Holy Spirit. You guys meant it for good. You meant it for carnality. God allowed it. Put me on the spot. But I saw an equivalent advantage in this situation. God did all these things because of generations to come. So you may not be able to understand the full scope of why you are going through what you are going through but god's eyes are on nations and on generations but we now created denominations his eyes are what nations and what generations not on denominations you didn't preach that preach it well god's eyes are on nations and generations study your bible you'll, you'll find it nations and generations but our own eyes and what the lord give you understand <laughs> first of all you must be able to see design the finger of the spirit it's when you design the finger of the spirit that you now understand the way god works it is through process that we know god not through bible study the knowledge of god is experiential it's not intellectual is when you have gone through the experience and God has revealed spiritual reality to you that scriptures will not make more meaning. 
scriptures will be flat before your face devoid of substance and matter until you become willing to suffer with Christ in situations and circumstances that you decide not to deny his name and you go through the strain because of God you go through the strain because of Jesus suddenly your ranking increases and God gives you the privilege of knowing the operations of the spirit of truth then you realize the scope then you design then you see that's how spiritual growth comes it doesn't come by speaking in tongues come with me so you need to see him you need to what know him all right 